Independent in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for taking my call. I would like to address my comment to Mrs. Montgomery. Um, if she doesn't know how she's in her current station of life uh, based on resources or uh, uh, housing taxes or just her luck of the draw, I agree you're not very smart. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, wait, 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 Aaron. What, what are you talking about? What do you mean? Exactly. Let's sound smarter when we ask the question, please. Well, yeah, you, you, you made a comment earlier when mm -hmm. you were living in Nevada and you moved to Atlanta. You, I don't know if it was my resources in Nevada because I guess they had pretty good school systems. Actually, we don't. Nevada was ranked property. very low when it comes to education. It just so happened well, that you, our you government allocates know, our dollars well, better. But go ahead. Well, but well, uh, but initially you said you didn't know if you were smarter. But if you think resources in and regards to how I feel, my of level of intelligence is in relation to the people I mean, that what? I've met out here. Well, yeah, uh, Michaela, let I'm him finish. Go ahead, Aaron. I'm sorry for talking while you're interrupting. Well, you go ahead. Carry on. I think I, I understand I what you're getting. You by. were, okay, you heard my sentiments earlier in which I said I moved out here. And I don't want to say that I feel like I'm smarter than anybody else, but was it the resources that were allocated to me? Was it the fact that I got lucky with amazing teachers? Da, 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 da. Nevada ranks very low on education. So let's not act like, oh, all of a sudden I'm not smart. No, I noticed that even with Nevada being ranked so low in education, I felt like the quality of education that I received was much better than the ones that kids are receiving out, out here. Out the property taxes. Okay, property taxes. Property taxes. So are you telling me that, that with all the black wealth education. with all the black wealth that exists here in Atlanta, with all the black millionaires that live here in Atlanta, why in the world do 92% of APS students are illiterate? Make it make sense. And we have Democratic mayors, we have Democratic city council members, we have Democratic commissioners, and for whatever reason, 92% of the kids here cannot read. That statistic did not exist in Nevada. So again, I don't know if it was the fact that I got lucky. I can't say that, oh my God, it's the teachers that suck out here. I would never demean our educators here in Atlanta. But what we can acknowledge is the numbers, sir. And so while you want to call me not smart, please tell me what your side has done to fix the illiteracy rate that we see in our black children absolutely nothing and in fact not only have they not done anything to address the illiteracy issue but then they're further confusing their kids by confusing your kids by telling us telling them that men can give birth by telling them that there's 53 genders and that by telling them that your love for your best friend must mean that you are gay you are a pansexual asexual kids under the age of anything high school should not be thinking anything sexual period sexual should not even be in their vocabulary so for you to say that I'm not smart because I'm willing to call out all of the degeneracy that exists within our current education system only points to your lack of intelligence and your lack of initiative to actually do something in regards to saving our children and uh, saving our schools. All right, let's talk to Sam in Rome, Georgia.